All right, what's up guys, Ali here. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about why the Miami Heat have been able to be so successful this postseason so far. All right, so let's start it off. Anytime you got playoff Jimmy, he's going to be great no matter what. That's a big part of it. But also you look at their roster too. A lot of, they have seven undrafted players. I think it goes with the coaching. Their exposure is arguably the best coach in the league. I think he's second behind Popovich. He's uh, just an amazing coach. With that system, the Heat culture that they have, they have good standards. They're a great franchise. They've always been so competitive. I think just having their roster is legit. I mean, even though with seven undrafted players, which is insane, you look at Bam Adebayo, who's obviously an all-star type player. Of course, Jimmy in the playoffs is a different level. He's a superstar in the playoffs. I know Hero was injured. That's a big loss for them, but they've still been winning games without him. Oladipo, that's tough too that he's out with an injury, even though he gets hurt a lot, like every year it seems like for him. But I think it's the role players that have stepped up for the Heat. The good thing is, that's the thing, you have to have a good bench in this league, good depth, to really make a deep playoff run. And the Heat have that. Caleb Martin, not only is he a really good defender, he can score. I mean, he's pretty solid. When he gets going, he's one of those players who, when he can score, he can get almost 30 points a night. You look at Gabe Vincent and Max Struess, not only have they improved on defense, though, those guys can score as well. They've had so many games in the season where they have around, let's say, 25, 27 points. Even Struess, I remember, has a few 30-point games in them. When they get going, they can play really well, too. And most teams don't have that kind of depth, right? Especially with undrafted players who can just come out and that, get, like, 25 points a game a couple of times in a row. That's hard to do. It's really hard to do. So that's so surprising. But since the Heat have that, you can depend on that. Of course, Jimmy, with him, he has a great game, and Bam's playing well. And again, those guys are playing well, the role players. That's going to be so tough to beat this team. Just the culture, everything, the training staff, how to Heat develop players. It's a great system. That's why they're so successful and one of the best franchises in the NBA. Because just having that Pat Riley, of course, he's done his job. He's a... He's always done a great job. Him and Spill, that's just a great duo that they have there. They know what they're doing every single year. Kyle Lowry, he's a stud, the veteran. He's won a championship before. He has that championship pedigree. He he plays hard. That's the thing. He just plays so hard. Jimmy Butler is so, like, you know, he's thick-skinned, type of hard-working guy. He's a dog. His whole life, he had it rough, of course. He was homeless at a young age when he was, like, a teenager. He had it rough, so he knows what it's like. He competes out there like it's... He's surviving for his life. It's amazing. Larry, Larry has that too, I feel like, in him. He knows what it takes too. He just always goes all out every single play. He doesn't slack off at all. He's just that. He's just, he wants it more. That's what Larry is. And of course, with Jimmy, they just want it more. I think that's a big part of why the Heat are two wins away from going to the finals. And let's see if they can close it out, though. I know you can't count Boston out. Of course, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, all of them, they're a good team. So it'll be interesting to see how what happens, right? If he can do it, uh, big series because now it's in Miami and they're up 2-0. So let's see if the Heat can, right, to use the home advantage to help them out. I still don't know who can. And it's kind of tough, honestly. I'm still trying to see can the Heat hang on, right, to a lead. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think they look great though. They surprised me in those first two games. I did not expect them to go up 2-0, especially winning those games in Boston. That's very surprising, but that's what good teams do. They find a way to win. So they're doing great, but we'll see how it goes. Though. I just think how depth they have. Again, those undrafted players, they're so good at developing them. And we'll see what happens, though. Just wanted to share my thoughts on how the Heat have been surprising everyone. Keep in mind, this is a team that's an eight seed. They almost didn't even make the playoffs. They lost to the Hawks in the play-in round, so they had another chance. They barely beat the Bulls in the second game of the play-in round. So they barely got in. Now they're, they are have a good chance to go to the finals. So it'll be interesting to see what will happen from here. And let's see. That's all I got for this video today. And if you guys could please leave a like. If you're new, I'd appreciate um, if you guys subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys soon.